Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome. This is your weekly love reading for this week of March 4th to the 10th. Time is fluid, and Leo, stick around towards the end. I will be getting each zodiac signs, feelings, and actions towards you for the week. So let's get started into it and see what your love oracle is for this week here. Leo, first card out is butterflies. You also have devotion and freedom. Okay. So, uh, could be a new or old love you are connecting to. Uh, if you have a current partner, current partner energy here as well. I definitely feel like you are going to feel a whole lot more loved this week by someone. I feel as though with the energy of freedom, that's giving me the indication that whoever this person is coming in for you or whoever you are around, you feel like you can be yourself. You don't need to dim your light, turn down the volume, or however we decide to adapt ourselves for people, right? You're like, no, I can be who I am. I can love freely. And I definitely feel like there is someone here or coming in for you this week, Leo, that wants to devote more of their time and energy towards this connection it's giving like effort. It's giving that someone wants to put effort into you. So let's see what we have in your journey oracle and see what's coming through here and how are the vibes. We have healing. Beautiful. So if you're connecting to a new love or an old love this week, um, this cycle is definitely going to bring about the healing that's needed we also have ascending. Wow. Some of you, you're getting effort in love and you have not gotten effort in a while or this type of effort just hasn't been existent in your energy, but now it does exist. Wow. And you have released. Oh my gosh. I love this energy for you, Leo. Wow. Whoever you are connecting with this week, whoever's coming in, whatever is happening here for you, it's definitely showing that it's going to be an extremely positive week for love because you are releasing a facade where you were hiding certain parts of you or, you know, being a certain type of individual when you really wanted to be who you really are. You definitely are stepping into more of self-authenticity with love, being yourself, and not really caring what another person thinks, you know? Either they love you for you or they can go. They ain't going, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. No one's going right now. There is definitely a big energy here for you with love. I need to get your tarot theme cards. So let me break this up here for you. If you are in a relationship, you could be finding the healing that you and this person have been waiting to have. It could have, you could have felt like your relationship has been like delayed or blocked because you do have ascending to release. So this is showing me that for a lot of you who have been in relationships or connections that felt like they weren't moving anywhere, something's going to happen this week where they start moving. Others of you, if you just felt like your love life just wasn't doing anything, it does look like there is a new or old love coming in this week that is definitely going to help your love life level up, either healing with a past person or finding that healing in a new person. It got some nice vibes here. Let's see what your tarot theme cards are. What? There it is with the Hierophant with Teach. Beautiful. We also have Control with Strength. There you are, Leo. And you also have, hello, dreams are coming true with the nine of cups. I felt this good vibe. Yes, I did. I was like, ooh, this reading feels nice. Yep, there it is. The nine of cups, wish fulfillment in a love reading. Wow. I don't think y'all have gotten the nine of cups in a love reading in a bit. And your energy starts off with the Hierophant. So this is a blessing not only that you have hoped and wished for, but this is also the blessing coming from spirit 
that they feel like you need at this time. So the fact that you got the Hierophant under healing, this is big energy. This is really big energy. And the fact that you also have strength on ascending and devotion, spirits like, hey, Leo, all the work you've been doing, all of that self shadow work, dark night of the soul that you've been going through, it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off for a future connection. It's going to pay off for the current connection. It's going to pay off for a past connection. Somehow, some way, there is an ascension in your love life this week. And, you know, they're kind of being super broad with who it is. I mean, Butterflies does say new or old love. You also have the Hierophant here can indicate a current connection. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you, the who this person is is going to be different for all of you. Um, your best bet in having a key in this reading and figuring out maybe who it is, it's connected to a wish fulfillment. So have you been wishing for new love? Have you been wishing to heal with a past love? Have you been wishing to move through blockages with a current connection? It's connected to a wish fulfillment. So this is something that you do want. So are you like, oh no, I don't want a past love. Then it's probably not past for you. It's, this is connected to what you want as an individual when the Nine of Cups comes out. So on the Hierophant, we have the Six of Swords. There's the movement. There's the healing. On the Strength card, we have the Eight of Swords, Eight, Eight. And on the Nine of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Hello. We love to see the Wheel of Fortune on a Wish Fulfillment card. Oh, you got some beautiful changes to your love life happening. Things are just going to start feeling like they're going your way. I'm telling you, you may be like, wow, why is everyone loving me so much? Or why is this person loving me so much this week? The, the energy's moving. Things are moving. You know, relationships also go in phases. Our life goes in phases. You could have been in a phase where there was like a nothingness type of energy, but there's definitely movement. Honestly, I personally feel like once we hit March, the readings, the energy started to move so much more. So I'm pretty interested to see what the following readings for March will be because it looks like a lot of stagnant energy is moving this month. So specifically for you, it is definitely coming in in your love life. You've already got it in other readings for March, but we'll continue on and see. Let's clarify this for Leo. Yeah, you have a very strong positive turn of events for love, for romance. We have the Hermit. We have the Moon. We have the Ten of Wands. Wow. So this wish fulfillment is helping you release. I mean, look, you have freedom. Release. The Ten of Wands, putting down a burden that no longer serves you, feeling like, all right, this is the completion so there's definitely something coming in for you this week in terms of love that's really going to help you release a lot of difficulty inside, a lot of overthinking thoughts, a lot of feeling of, you know, not feeling that comfortable with the uncertainty of love. Yeah, all of that is changing. Some of you, Six of Swords, the Hermit, y'all have been single for a while. And whatever this is, is going to require you to choose if you'd like to come out of Hermit mode or not. Wow. All right, let's clarify this one more time, Leo. And there's the moon. We are in Pisces season. So definitely could be that Pisces season had something for you or does have something for you. I feel like collectively the energy is just taking off more. We have the 10 of pentacles, the nine of swords. Oh, you were stressing. Damn. There was so much stress about the unknown, but the fact that this is all on strength is showing that you know, you're going to get rewarded for pushing through the difficulties. On the Ten of Wands, we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, some of you, I feel like some of you could be moving into a new connection or a new type of phase of your relationship, and you're not feeling as stressful about certain things you stressed about in the past. Um, because it definitely looks like whatever sort of favorable change is upcoming for you, it's not only bringing you an ascension, it's also bringing you a release where whatever you are holding on to cannot come with you to the next level of this love life, of your relationship, of your romantic life. So whether that have been like trust issues, control issues, 
um, you know, jealousy, ego, whatever the case may be, you're definitely releasing something at this moment. I feel like internally, it does look like a mentality of stress and overthinking, sleepless nights, like, you know, letting yourself, I guess you could say, you know, the Eight of Swords makes shit up. I'm going to say that, okay? The Eight of Swords just makes up worst case scenario. They're like, well, I don't know if it's real, but I'm going to envision worst case scenario just because. I feel like your mind could be shifting where your neurological pathways in your brain are actually, you're working on pushing them more towards a positive where you're almost catching yourself more. Where you're like, no, 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 let's not think that way. Let's think this way. So I feel like there is an awareness you are also working with as well. I mean, you have some beautiful cards here. You have beautiful energy coming in. So it looks like this wish fulfillment is not only connected to a connection and or a person having more love, or more romance and more effort into your life. You're actually feeling better about something. You're actually feeling better about either your past or something that you were holding on to. Like I said, if you are in a relationship and y'all were just trying to get over this one thing, this is it. This is it. Why is the four of wands here for Leo, please? Page of wands. There it is. Good news, attraction, that spark being restored or that spark coming into your life. Oh, wow, Leo. This is going to be such a nice week for you in terms of your romantic love life. I feel like some of you may feel that like cloud nine energy. I do feel it, you know, so this is beautiful. In terms of zodiac signs in your spread that could be around you or in your chart, we have Virgo, we have Taurus, we have Pisces, we have Leo. So this is what I have here for you, Leo. Get ready for a very favorable turn of events to your love life. I feel like you're really going to enjoy this and this is going to make you very, very, very happy. So I feel like this person specifically will do something this week that makes you very, very happy as well. So let's see in your second half of your reading here, Leo, all the way from Aries to Pisces, we're going to get each zodiac sign's feelings for you and actions towards you for the week. All the way from Aries to Pisces, please show me each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards Leo for the week. Thank you. All right, Leo, take what resonates into this portion as well. Leave the rest behind. If it doesn't fit, it don't force it to fit. It might just not be your reading this time around, and that's okay. So let's see. We have Aries. It was my fault, but I blamed you and the Two of Swords. So Aries is uh, very much in their head right now. Um, they feel like they blamed you for something that was ultimately their fault, possibly didn't take much accountability. And with the Two of Swords, they don't really know exactly how to go about healing things with you. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they're waiting for either things to cool off or waiting for their time to either apologize or make nice with you. We have Taurus. I'm starting to understand our connection and the Nine of Wands. So Taurus could have been hard to budge for a while. High Priestess. I want to make sure these are the right way. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, Taurus could have been hard to budge for a while. It looks like they're finally spiritually understanding this connection. And with the Eight of Pentacles, some of you may be getting some unexpected effort from a Taurus. I did clarify three in, so I would say more or less towards the end of the week next week. Next up is Gemini. I want to tell you how I feel and the Four of Cups. So Gemini does want to tell you how they feel, but they feel like they will ultimately possibly be rejected or ignored by you. So I feel like they're fearing that. Yep, there it is, Nine of Swords. So Gemini wants to tell you how they feel, but they're letting fear get the best of them. So I don't really feel like they're going to do it. If they do, they'll attempt to try, but it looks like it'll be like more of like a beating around the bush type of telling you how they feel. Next up is Cancer. I replay our conversations over and over and the Page of Swords. Are these backwards? Like, why is this happening to me? Okay. 
Page of Swords. So, Cancer's low-key stalking you here. They're definitely keeping an eye on you. I feel like you and Cancer may also have to work on the way that you two communicate with each other. I feel like you and Cancer communicate with each other on like a grade one level, or at least that's how they communicate. And I definitely feel like they're reminiscing over conversations between the two of you, but they still are uncertain of how they approach you. Um, with the Page of Swords being an action card, they may ask you a question. They may also try to dig. I'm getting a digging energy where they may asking you certain questions on purpose. Okay. Next is Leo. I don't react when people mention you and the Ace of Pentacles. So an offer coming in from a Leo. If you haven't heard from one, you definitely may hear from one. They want to see you. They want to hang out with you. They want to build on this connection. It looks like people are mentioning you to them and they are not reactive. But they do have an offer for you here this week. Nine of Cups could definitely be connected to a wish fulfillment with a fellow Leo. Next up is Virgo. The timing just wasn't right for us and the Eight of Wands. So expect a lot of communication from a Virgo this week. Possibly the timing wasn't right or they just kind of just said that. But Eight of Wands here, they're ready to do something. Um, could be that uh, Virgo wants to be intimate with you. If you're not looking for that, I would definitely avoid it. Um, but with the Eight of Wands, they're definitely interested in speaking to you, conversating with you, and possibly laying it on you here and trying to let you know how interested or reinterested they are. They may, like, put it on you heavy here with, like, flirtation. Next up is Libra. I left before you could leave me and the Seven of Cups. So Libra was super confused in this connection. It looks like they're still confused. They assumed that you were going to leave them, so they decided to leave you first. Um, was that real or was that an assumption? It's going to be all up to your personal energy, but I feel like they're super still confused on what to do here. I feel like they also could be confused on if they even made the right choice to do so, because with the King of Wands here, they're still attracted towards you, and they still don't know if you're actually with other people or not. So I feel like there could be a lot of confusion here between you and Libra this week. Next up is Scorpio. I couldn't let you get close to me and the Fool. So new cycle coming in for you and a Scorpio. Possibly they kept you at a distance with the Fool here. There could be a prediction of you and Scorpio getting closer this week. Let's see. We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah. They could be a little bit more open than before. Queen of Swords is still detached but not as detached as if she was like in the king position so i feel like scorpio is open but only to an extent so definitely could be moving into a new cycle or new scorpio energy for some of you next up is sagittarius i wish i could share my good news with you and the page of wands well they ain't wishing they're doing there it is page of wands scorpio a uh, scorpio sagittarius definitely coming in with some sort of communication spark Share. This is literally the energy of good news, the Page of Wands for me. So it actually says good news. So they're definitely going to express something um, enthusiastic or high vibrational to you this week. Could also just be some spark restored. Next up is Capricorn. I regret lying to you and the Wheel of Fortune. So a change coming here for you and Capricorn. Knight of Swords. Woo! Some of you may hear from a Capricorn out of nowhere. Um, they regret lying to you. So they could be feeling remorseful at this time. Oh yeah, Ace of Swords. You definitely gonna hear from Capricorn around this week. They got something to say. Capricorn got something to say. If you are with a Capricorn, they may say something that does change things. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's not a bad change though. It could be a favorable change or at least something that you want. Um, some of you just going to hear from a Capricorn or you could be connecting to a new one. Next up is Aquarius. Just being near you is intoxicating and the Five of Cups. So some of you are disappointed by an Aquarius. It's like they want to be around you, but they don't really have much else. Uh, Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like Aquarius, like they enjoy spending time with you, but they ultimately do want to sit in their independent nature the hanged man, yeah, and they're pretty set on that for right now, but doesn't mean that they still won't want to hang out with you or talk to you, but they definitely want to be in solitude. And then lastly, we have Pisces. I'm becoming a better person and the queen of pentacles. All right, I just got a random download about Aquarius. Y'all, why would y'all do that to me when I just picked out Pisces? Hold on, Aquarius. 
Some of you also, and Aquarius is actually in the process of maybe changing their mind about their independent style because being near you is so intoxicating, but they still seem ultimately stuck for the week. Okay, why the heck did y'all do that to me? You couldn't have just said it when I had the cards out? Okay, sorry y'all. I'd be like literally arguing back <laughs> to whoever is giving me messages. All right, Pisces, I'm becoming a better person, queen of pentacles. So Pisces is highly working on themselves right now. Their stability, their money, their efforts towards themselves, judgment, and the hermit. Um, so Pisces feels like to become a better person, they have to be in solitude right now. They are making a judgment call to stay hermit mode. They feel like they have to work on themselves in this moment. Could just be for the week, but they definitely are to themselves. So let's make sure everyone's out here for you, Leo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos for being here and for watching. This is your Love Weekly. I hope you have an amazing week ahead and I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Leo Plus has started for March. So if you want an individualized love reading for one of these signs, check the channel. A um, couple of them are already out and more will be out this week. So thank you, my beautiful Leos. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye now.